that everyone should know. Uh, the first is that this is, webinar is being recorded and we will be sharing that with each of you so that you can share it with your staff and, uh, and watch it at a later date. Uh, and we also want to let you know that if you go scroll down towards the bottom, you'll see a Q&A section. If there are questions that you want to ask us, we will have a time when, uh, when we'll be able to answer a few of your questions. And so uh, type those in and uh, we'll be more than happy to, uh, to address those as we move along. But, uh, but with that, as, uh, as the housekeeping taken care of, uh, I'll turn it over to Archie Palencia. Hello, everyone. Um, uh, my name is Archie Palencia, and uh, for those that don't know me, I'm the Retail Systems Consultant here at RAPID. Welcome to today's webinar. Um, I'm being joined, as you heard, with uh, Bart McCluskey, who is the president of uh, RAPID. And today, we're going to be talking to you about working with promotions in the NCR counterpoint system. We really hope that you find this uh, webinar to be extremely timely and, and relevant to what you're doing right now. Uh, we believe that every retailer should be thinking about how do I re-engage with my customers and get them back into my store, uh, perhaps for the first time since, uh, since all this COVID thing occurred. And so, uh, and so we, we want to give you some ideas of things that you might not have known that you could do or remind you of things you may have forgotten of uh, about. And so, uh, so Archie, take it over. All right, perfect. Um... So for today's agenda, uh, we're going to be talking to you about some promotional strategies that you can implement in your store. Um, and then after we talk about the different strategies, we're going to dive right into the NCR counterpoint system and show you how you can set up those promos, um, as well as how you can test them using our uh, price test tool within counterpoint. Then after that, we will um, have a Q&A, answer any questions, again, that came in through the uh, chat um, right at the bottom of your screen. Um, and then we will wrap up with next steps. And then with that being said, um, I'm going to move on to my next slide here. And today we're going to talk about uh, six promotional strategies. Um, and the first one is uh, store-wide percent markdowns. And this is one of the easiest sort of uh, promotions that you can implement because as the name suggests, it's store-wide, right? So you're doing a percent markdown that you uh, define on all your products in the store. Um, so again, pretty easy to implement. Um, the nice benefit of this is that it, it helps to attract new as well as is existing customers. And one of the cons or sort of drawbacks is of course store-wide uh, markdown doesn't allow you to target like overstocked items, right? Where items that maybe that you're overstocked on that you want to move. Um, and so we are gonna touch on that um, a little bit further along in one of the other strategies. Hey Arch, um, one of the things that I like to remind people about store-wide markdowns, and especially for our firearm stores, is that uh, it's very common for firearm stores to have completely different uh, margin among different product categories. And so that makes it a little more challenging to do a store-wide markdown. Perhaps in a firearm store, you need to put certain exclusions. And we've all seen that as consumers, right? Where, uh, where it says 10% off everything in the store except for X, Y, and Z. And so, uh, so do, do keep that in mind as you, if you choose to do a store or wide markdown. Great, thanks for adding that part. Um, and then the second uh, promotional strategy we'll talk about is uh, specific category markdowns, right? And this is where you can basically choose a category and you know build a promotion around it. Um, this is, allows you to, uh, to retain full margins on other categories purchased. Um, you can use it to exit seasonal categories. Um, use uh, specific category markdowns to exit poor performing categories. Um, and then the drawback for uh, this one or con would be um, you won't drive, of course, as much traffic as you would like a store-wide markdown that I just mentioned above. Perfect. One of the most common type of promotions, and when you think of, as consumers, when we think about promotions, is a targeted item promotion. So a, this particular item is on sale 50% off or 20% off. Uh, and uh, and we, we think the targeted items are is a, is a really smart and, and good promotion to execute, uh, particularly if you're overstocked. So you can target those overstocked items and, and attempt to move those out of the store. We also want to encourage you, as you think about what items you want to promote, uh, is, uh, is don't just select an item because it drives traffic. Select an item because it drives traffic and 
it's likely that someone's going to want to buy something in addition to that item. Uh, and then the last thing to think about with uh, when you're doing targeted item promotions is many times you need to, particularly in the firearm industry, because we can't, we, we don't necessarily have unlimited quantities. Uh, you might want to say while quantities last, not only does that protect you if you can't get back in stock of a product or give rain checks, but it also creates a, uh, a sense of urgency for, uh, for your customers to get into your store now uh, because, uh, because uh, they don't want to lose out on this great opportunity that you're providing for them. In addition to targeting items, it's possible to target specific customers. And so for instance, you could, cut, you could target your, uh, your VIP members or, uh, or certain, level, uh, certain level members. You could uh, target only commercial customers or, uh, or perhaps uh, uh, your uh, law enforcement. Uh, all, of these, uh, all of these things, uh, it's possible to configure a promotion and we'll show you how to do that in CounterPoint that will allow you to target specific customers. One of my favorite ones is, uh, is a big spender. So, uh, so you can get X percent off, but only if you purchase over X dollars worth of goods. Uh, and so that, uh, that might be a promotion you weren't even aware that you know, that counterpoint is capable of doing, but it's, it's pretty cool. And uh, if time permits, another promotion that uh, we can show you and address is uh, putting together what we call multi-buy deals. These are deals like buy one, get one free, right? Otherwise known as BOGOs um, or buy six or more and get 20% off. Like as an example, buy you know, uh, one box of ammo, get the second free or buy six and get 20% off the next one. So obviously lots of variations and certainly, um, you know, uh, the variations are endless, um, but this will hopefully give you an idea of what uh, you can do. Um, you can pick product commonly budget, and pop, I'm sorry, pick product commonly bought in multiples, um, that is. And then you can also, uh, especially effective with premium, especially premium products, and then um, also one thing to consider is uh, don't offer a discount on the second if customers normally buy in pairs, right? Because the real goal is to get customers to buy more than what they normally would. Perfect. And then the last thing that we want to remind you when you think about your promotional strategies is that it's not always about price. You don't always have to sacrifice margin in the store. Uh, so a sweepstakes or drawings are really good ways to get people back into your store as are uh, a free prize with every purchase. Uh, samples are another good way to get people into the store and in particular right now we find a lot of stores are having outstanding results by doing product demonstrations, by doing product trainings, uh, product explanations, hold a webinar just like we're holding this webinar and, uh, and, and get people to, uh, to join that webinar, get engaged with your ex the, the expertise that you have in the store and then, uh, and then that'll drive them to come in and talk to you. Uh, think about promoting the fact that you're local with uh, local with local celebrities or exhibits that uh, that that are are very meaningful to your local uh, your your local your customers and your local area. Uh, and then lastly, uh, when you think about uh, uh, promoting, never forget about a holiday. Any holiday, every holiday, there's something in your store that you can talk about that's relevant to that holiday. And so pull those things out and uh, uh, and be sure to be sure to make a good promotion around them. Yeah, that's a good one, especially with Memorial Day right around the corner. And then one thing that I might add is um, do product reviews, right? So if there's a new gun cleaning kit that you're carrying, um, feel free to do a review of that product and post it on your social media page, your Facebook page, or on Instagram, right? Any way that would help to um, bring customers um, in your store. So now let's switch over to CounterPoint and we're going to show you how to set up many of these promotions that we've just talked about so that, uh, so that you can do these for yourself. So the uh, what place where you navigate to handle all of this pricing stuff is in inventory and then prices. And then there's two th areas where we're going to be most focused in on. The, f the primary area for setting up promotionals is uh, named what you think it might think it should be, promotional prices, no surprise there. 
And a lot of people though, don't know about this plan promotions button over on the right hand side. And plan promotions is basically uh, promotions that made easy. So the, the promotional prices dial button, that other one that's there, it allows for all kinds of crazy flexibility and doing all kinds of, of different things. And so it's important to know, but if what you want to do is simply set up a, a, set up a promotion that says, I want it to start on this date, I want it to end on this date and here are the items and here are the prices. The place to do that is in the plan promotions uh, window. So you can see I'm starting to set this up and I'm going to pick a, 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 a date when my promotion is going to start and a date when it's going to end. And, uh, and now in the bottom section, I'm going to enter in the item number that I want to promote. And for this item, I can see that it's normally $29 and I might want to say, that I want to give this at a 10% discount off that $29. It's showing me already what the promotional price is going to be. That, is, that means it's going to sell for $26.10. And, uh, and I can tab through here and, and it will add to the list box up above. Now I might want to set up my other item slightly different. So I'm going to add another item to this, uh, to this the two things here. And uh, instead of doing a percent off, I might want to advertise this item that normally sells at $13.99 that I'm going to sell it for $9.99. Now you can see as I do that, it's automatically calculating what discount percent that's going to be so that I can gauge, hey, do I still have a little bit of margin? Am I still making a little bit of money on this item? Uh, but, uh, uh, but, uh, but it's an easy way to say, what, what I'm wanting you to see is that you've got an opportunity to say, this is the exact price that I want, or I wanna give a percent off and let the system then uh, figure out what the price is going to be. And so let's tab through that. And we can see that it's now added to the list box and I could add as many items as I wanted to and, and continue on this process. Uh, I can even save this and come back into it uh, uh, three days later to, to finish things up. But when I'm done, what I do is I have to create this create promo button. If I don't do this, then these promos aren't gonna go active. I have to click create promo. And what that's going to do is generate in the background this promotion so that it's now active and ready to go into effect. Pretty easy, anyone can do it. And, uh, and uh, uh, we encourage you to, uh, to think carefully about the items that you wanna put in on, on your promo and, uh, and learn to use the plan promotions dialogue. But Arch is gonna now review with you a couple of other approaches for, um, for doing promotions. And so I mentioned earlier that uh, one of the uh, one other promotion you can do is a store wide promotion, right? One of the easiest ones. Um, and then so basically how you set that up. So I'm going to stay in my prices area and then we're just going to go into our promotional prices area. Now I have um, a couple of these already set up just for the sake of time so we can just easily pull those up. So um, let's just say that, you know, for this coming up on Memorial Day weekend, I want to have a 5% store-wide uh, promotion, right? 5% off everything in the store for uh, this weekend only. And so you can see that I did define this 5% promo. So I'm just going to pull that up. And then the first thing that I want you to notice is then you can set your, your dates, right? So I'm going to have it start this Friday and then end on Monday. And so the system, you're telling the system basically that it's going to turn the promotion on um, and then turn the promotion off. And then when I click on this rules tab, this is where you can define exactly what, who, you know, uh, you want the promotion uh, to apply to. So in this case, I'm saying 5% off everything in my store. So I don't have to define a minimum quantity that the, the customer has to buy. Um, they're going to, we're going to take that 5% discount um, uh, percent. And then we're going to take that discount percent off of the price one of the item. And then again, we defined it as 5%. Um, and so once we set this up, then all we do is we save this and then the system will automatically then apply this promo. And then we can even do things like uh, a category specific promo. And I kind of mentioned this um, as another promotional strategy, but basically it's essentially the same thing only that you would go into your items tab and then you would define a specific category. And I can go a little bit into that, but you know, since we're here, I wanted to show you, um, you know, this is exactly where you would do that as well. And then once you're done defining your uh, promotion, you would um, save it 
and then you would uh, exit out of here. And then as I mentioned earlier, you would be able to uh, test your promotion or uh, the price rule that you just defined. And CounterPoint has a nice uh, tool called, of course, price test. And you'll find that in your utilities area. And then here's your price test. So again, the main purpose of this is to, as you're creating your promotions, you wanna make sure that they're calculating correctly or you're, they're doing exactly what you want it to do, right? You're not having to go into touch screen and test it there because you know then that's just a lot more extra clicks that you have to do. Um, so in this case, um, if I'm going to do the um, price test um, for this item, then I can you know, select a specific item in this case. Um, so since you know, it's Memorial Day weekend, I'm trying to get everyone in the spirit of relaxation. And so we are accessing our uh, liquor database. So um, you know, uh, kind of maybe giving you guys a break from all the, all the firearms <laughs> items. Um, so in this case, we're doing the, I'm pulling up this uh, beer, Red Stripe bottle. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that onto uh, this item. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on get price because this is how I'm gonna actually test and see if, my, if that store-wide 5% um, is gonna apply. So when I click on that, you'll notice that um, no promo description came up, right? So there's obviously it's not being applied, but I know why. Um, you guys are probably following along, uh, can guess, um, by date. Right, so I did select it for uh, to apply for the Memorial Day weekend, and obviously I have it currently set to today. So if I did test it when in, you know it applies within that date range that I specifically um, defined, and then I click on Get Price, then as you can see, then the system uh, then calculates that price and it applied that five percent um, off of the price one, and then my new price for this in this case um, beer is going to be a dollar forty three. Yeah, Arch, this, this window is so important because people get nervous. Did I set it up right? Did I set it up right? And they'll even call us, call in to ask that, uh, hey, can you look at this? The nice thing, and, and uh, just remember in the utilities, this price check function, it will allow you to, to test all kinds of conditions. And then you can see if you set it up right because you'll see uh, what the, over on the left-hand side where it shows uh, that what the, the normal price is and then the price that someone's actually getting. Uh, this is the way that you, you test a promotion to say I'm a hundred percent sure that this is going to work exactly the way that I want it to. Great. All right. And then uh, just going back and um, I kind of touched on this um, previously, um, but doing a category specific promo, right? This is where you can maybe target a specific category that maybe is not moving or selling um, as much, right? And so in this case, if I, again, uh, you know, if I wanted to say for the Memorial Day weekend, I wanted to um, have a 10% promo or discount off of all of my California wines, right, in this case. And so um, I set that up already. That's just my 10% promo. Again, you would set up your begin and end dates. And then when you go into your rules, um, same thing applies with what I just showed you with store wide. But then as I go up into my items tab, I can specify the category that I want this discount or promotion to apply to. In this case, I said California wines. And so same thing applies. Then once I save this, I can go in and use um, that price test tool to make sure that you know, this uh, promotion is correctly uh, calculating off of, in this case, my item category. Perfect. So Archie has shown you using two of those tabs and the promotional prices to be able to control, to, to filter, to limit what it is that that particular pro promotional price uh, applies to. He showed you one whether that was uh, for an all store and then he limited by category. Uh, now I want to go in and show you a couple of additional uh, limits that we could put in place. So Arch, let's bring up that, uh, that promotion that I've pre-configured for everyone. And uh, in this promotion, it will allow you to see that I'm saying that the customer must be a, a VIP customer and the customer must also 
purchase a basket of goods that's at least two hundred dollars, two hundred fifty dollars. So if we click on uh, on our, our price rule that we've defined here, uh, we can see that the discount that I'm giving is ten percent, and I'm not requiring any minimum amount to qualify. And uh, and this discount is going off of price one. Very similarly to Archie's previous uh, uh, um, promo, if we go to the items tab. We're able to see that I'm applying this to all the California wines. That was category 500. But I've added some additional criteria. I've said that the customer category has to be special. That's what in, in my particular database, that's what I call my VIP members, uh, that, they're, that they're, they will have a customer category set to special. And the last criteria I put on it is that the total retail value of the goods in the basket need to be at least $250. And so now we've, do, we've created a promotion that's utilizing all four of these tabs to create uh, uh, something that's very specific for our big spenders who are also uh, members and VIP customers. Uh, and and uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right. And I think then the next thing that we wanted to go into is um, the buy, the multi uh, deal uh, promos, and this is the multi buy deals, I should say. And this uh, in this example, uh, as I mentioned, is uh, things like a buy one get one, right? So again, going into promotional prices, um, I have a BOGO already set up, and um, you know, let's just say this one we're going to do for Father's Day. And it's going to be basically, um, again, you set the dates to turn on for the Father's Day weekend. And this one is going to be where, um, you know, uh, if people buy one bottle of Maker's Mark whiskey, they get a second one free. And so, as you can see here, we define that rule, the BOGO for Father's Day. And then we want to click on the um, use BOGO uh, checkbox as well as require full group to qualify. This should means, just means that they have to buy all those items within that group to get the, the buy one, get one. Um, and so how we define this is we basically, let me kind of make this bigger. Um, you know, you set that you would buy one and obviously if they just bought one, it would be at its normal price. So there's no discounting or anything going on there. But then if they buy the second one, then they would get a fixed price. This is how I defined it. Um, as zero, so basically free. An alternative is you can do a percent. So if you wanted to say, instead of fixed price zero, they get a discount percent of, of 100, then you can certainly define that as well. And then what we do is we go into defining the items. So you click on your items tab, select the items that you want. Again, this is for that Maker's Mark whiskey. Um, I just noticed that's a really cheap price. That so must be like the really small bottle. <laughs> Um, but you guys get the idea. Um, and then um, as you go through, of course, we can then use our price test um, utility um, and then uh, go through and make sure that, you know, when they are buying one, that they get the full price and then they buy a second, then it's going to, the, it's going to be, the second one's going to be discounted 100%. All right, and that basically was um, some of the uh, promotional um, pricing strategies that we wanted to um, go through. And uh, let me bring up this other slide. There's certainly, I think it's it, it's worth mentioning, Arch. There's certainly uh, plenty of other kind of crazy things that you can come up with, and uh, and so uh, give us a call if you. Uh, but uh, but we just wanted to give you a, a taste of some of the types of things that you could do in order to get your creative juices flowing. And uh, uh, and and uh, yeah, yeah. And and of course, after all this, you spent a lot of time setting these up. Don't forget to promote your promotion. Right, you need to get the word out so that, and ahead of time, of course, um, so that your customers um, know about it. Um, so obviously, different ways we kind of uh, talked about uh, some of these, but using social media, posting on Facebook, um, you know, traditional local print media, um, guerrilla marketing with, you know, um, basically uh, maybe branding water bottles. Or I was at a store; um, it was a liquor store, and they had their own branded hand sanitizers. Um, so that I thought was uh, kind of smart. 
um, but also things like, you know, emailing your customers, um, doing uh, niche announcements like Bart mentioned and targeting certain, you know, customers like seniors, um, your uh, law enforcement, military or first responders. Um, then of course, in-store signage, right? That's the first thing that people, when they walk in, they're not aware of your um, promo, they're gonna have to, uh, they're gonna wanna see that, uh, or they're gonna need to see that signage in order to know exactly what they're getting. So Andy, let's take a break here and see if we have any questions from uh, from our participants that we need to that, that we can address. Oh. Hey Andy, Andy, we can't hear you. He's he's going to forward them. He's going to send the questions to me via text. Sorry about that. I don't uh, don't know why Andy's phone all of a sudden decided it didn't want to work. But uh, I do first... have. Oh, go ahead. Oh. Yeah the, yeah, the first one that came up was, uh, was about priorities among promotions. What if you, uh, and, uh, and I think that's, a, that's an interesting question and it's a, it's a nuance. So somebody's really, really uh, dug in deep on this. And so let's spend just a minute or two talking about it. So if we, what you, the way that you want to know, you, you want to think the way CounterPoint thinks about promotions. And the way CounterPoint thinks is, is to say, let me find the first one that applies, that all the circumstances apply and once I find that very first one, that's the price that I'm going to take. So let's, uh, and, and what you need to know is that the first priority is that, con that counterpoint will use is a contract price. So if you have, let's say that, that, uh, that you have contract prices with the police department for certain items, it does not matter if the promotional price is higher or lower if for that item, the contract price is what's going to apply. And so the order priority is contract price, then promotional price, and then special price. Now, even within promotional prices, the order matters. So Arch, let's open up the promotional price. You may not have ever noticed this little set group order button, but there's a set group order button over at the far right, right hand side. And if you if, if it, let, it is important, you, you might remember that we created a, a, this, this VIP customer order and we also created this 10% off, which was a, was a 10% with, which was a 20% off California wines. And we also have this other promotion for 10% off California wines. Now, if a VIP customer was on the ticket, the very first one that's going to fire and it's gonna realize is present the way it's configured at the moment is this 10% off California wines. And so they're not getting their VIP deal. But if I go down to, uh, down to the VIP and I move it up higher, then it's the, the counterpoint's gonna first evaluate VIP and it says, okay, that VIP qualified, so I'm gonna give that person that price. If they weren't a VIP customer, even though it was for the same set of items, then it says, okay, I didn't qualify for that one. Let me fall down one or two, and then it'll find the 10% off California wines. So, uh, so pay attention. The point here is uh, if you have overlapping promotions for the same item, and most of the time you won't, but if you do, it's going to go to contract price, then promotional price, then special price. And within those, you can control the order that they apply to, that, in which they apply. Yep, so I think that is just in alphabetic order, right? Uh, C, contract price, promotional price, and then special prices. That's the easy way to remember it. You're right, it's alphabetical order. Okay, perfect. I mean, we do have some questions here in the queue. Um, the first one I'll read is, would it be possible to edit the promotions to accurately reflect our employee discount? Our discount is 10% above cost or 20% off. If we put an item in at $0, how would it calculate this if so? Yeah, that, yeah, I, uh, we, we're, Kurt, we're, we're, it's possible for us to do a discount of 10% above cost. Uh, but we, the, there's not really an either or, like pick the lower, the 20% of club cost or 20% uh, off. Now, you, you can do it 10% above cost on, on these items, so the, the, all of these categories, but these other categories, you get 20% off. So uh, you can set it either or, but not as, as both. Uh, and if we put an item in as zero dollars, would it calculate this? If so, yes. So you could say that I want to I set up a promotion at a fixed price of zero, 
And when you sell that item, indeed, it would ring up as zero. And so uh, uh, that's really common, let's say on a range, maybe they, they don't want to charge for eyes and ears uh, for their, their, uh, their VIP customers. So you still put the eyes and ears on the, on the ticket, but it automatically knows, hey, I've got a promo for my VIP customer. And so they, uh, they're not charged. Great. And then the next one is, I would also like to make it to where firearms are not eligible for the promotion. You bet. You bet. The, so in the promotional dialogue, it's possible to say where category is not. In Archie's example, he said where category was. If you just need to eliminate one category, you can say where category is not. Uh, and so that's, uh, that's very much possible to say everything in the store except for firearms. And, and, uh, and that's really, really common. What else do we have, Arch? This is a good one. Uh, how can we do a BOGO with a lesson package? Hmm, hmm, I think hmm. a follow-up would be how do we do re how do we rede redeem the second lesson? Yeah, yeah. Do you have some ideas there? I'm not immediately coming up with the answer on that one. Not yet, Andy. I tell you what. I think we'll let uh, let Andy answer uh, answer Melanie uh, uh, directly on that one since yep. uh, since he's not coming through. Yeah. Uh, on that one. With a coupon, Good. right? Okay. Yeah, and then what? It's some of the things that you can consider doing is using uh, a coupon. Um, and so, uh, Melanie, we'll certainly get back with you on, on on the details of how to manage it that way. Perfect. Well, let's wrap up, Arch. All right. So, on that note, um, we are right at the uh, timeline, and um, next steps. So, number one, uh, make. Sure Make sure that you rewatch the webinar from two weeks ago about inventory reporting. There are recordings of that. So if you did not get that, then just let us know um, and we can send that to you. And we wanna highlight this because this will help you to design a promotion in order to get rid of your overstocked inventory, right? We talked about that. If you need to move some inventory, put a promotion together so you can help uh, move that overstock inventory out and sell it. Um, the second is kidding. So all about sales kits. Uh, kidding is a, a great promotional strategy. Um, what is kidding? Well, that's what our next uh, webinar is all about. So make sure you do sign up with that. Um, and that is next week and we'll explain to you all about how uh, you can put together uh, sales kits. So I hope all of you have on your mind after watching this is, is the next step would be to say, hey, how do I know if that promotion was effective, did, that it really did what I wanted it to do? I'm glad you asked because in two weeks, we have an advanced reporting webinar. And one of the topics that we'll be covering in that advanced, advanced reporting webinar is exactly that, uh, analyzing your promotional effectiveness. And then your most important next step, however, get out there and try a promotion you never tried, advertise in a new way to let people know about your promotion. This is fun. This is uh, promotions are the art and joy of retailing. So be creative and have some fun uh, and give people a reason to get back into your store. All right, well, thank you everyone for um, joining us today. Of course, if you have any questions, do feel free to reach out um, and um, stay safe and uh, have a great Memorial Day weekend. Bye everyone.